Hello again and welcome to Vision On. Today I have wanted to look at getting the headlamp uh, removed, how to do it, um, in case the bulb goes and I need to change it. The handbook gives you only the most basic of explanations on how to do that and um, I wanted to find out for myself before I end up having to do it in the dark somewhere. So the cover here, the front cover, has the usual Honda clips here which are a right pain to release and there are mounting point screws here and here, here and here. And um, the screw at the front there, that is for headlamp aim adjustment so don't mess with that. The wiring to the headlamp is a push fit plug onto there and to replace the bulb you remove the rubber boot and you can just undo the spring and the headlamp will clip out. So that's all fairly straightforward but you have to remove the mirrors because they go through these holes here and um, they unscrew, they both unscrew uh, the conventional right hand thread um, from the handlebar itself but on the right hand mirror the secondary uh, tightening uh, nut there is a left hand thread so just be aware of that. Uh, so you also need to remove the front centre panel as well and the other reason I wanted to do this was because uh, I'm not very happy with the indicator telltale. I find it's very very dim, quite difficult to see. Uh, if I just, have I got the keys in, put the ignition on. Uh, and I, I don't find that, well I suppose it's not bad, but in, with its, when you have sunlight on it, I find it quite difficult to see. So I um, turn the ignition off. So the bulb is located here. And it's a T10 bulb, 158. Uh, it's an ordinary filament. I'm going to replace that with an LED version. Uh, I've ordered one off eBay, and when it uh, when I fit that, I'll give you another video showing if there's any improvement. The other thing I wanted to do uh, was something that I really miss on this machine, um, and that's. I look at fitting a hazard warning light. I really uh, prefer to have hazards on any bike in case of breakdown and so that people, other road users are aware. Um, so the relay for the uh, indicators is down in there. Just see it maybe, yeah. We get a little yellow mark on it. There it is. Um, but it's very difficult to get to. And the other problem is that uh, to put a hazard circuit in with the diodes, you need to take the power supply from that relay and then a switch um, and wire it into the indicator bulbs down here and there, um, left and right hand. And there's a really very little wire spare. You can see the orange lead to that side and so a blue lead on the the other side somewhere and it's showing up here. Yeah, you can just see the blue lead there. But you see there's not much. Um, I'd have to cut that blue lead and then wire in a junction and reconnect. Um, so I'm not sure if I really want to do that. But given that um, I'm prepared to use the scooter on the motorway network, perfectly legal and it can do you know, reasonable motorway speeds, keep up with the lorries on lane one. Um, but we've got so-called smart motorways here, and to break down uh, on a stretch of smart motorway on any motorbike, uh, if you've not got hazards, uh, you're really uh, at risk. So uh, that's something I would like to, to put right. Well, that's about all I've got to say at the moment. I will put things back together for now. And when the new Telltale uh, bulb arrives, I'll fit that and do a short video to see if there's any improvement.
Okay, thanks for watching. Hope this has helped. And um, as always, uh, let me have your comments. Thank you.